what is up my embers i know this lighting is not the best but i'm parked somewhere right now i need to fix this bag okay i need to make this my car makeup bag and i have nothing in here so um i'm about to go into sephora and grab hopefully they have like a little mini huda beauty powder that i can use and i'm also gonna try to get like this sephora lip gloss that i've been looking for and i don't really know if i'm gonna get anything else we'll see i really came here for the powder because that's the only sephora is the only place i can get the huda beauty powder so hopefully they have it here but yeah i'm gonna go in here and then i'm gonna come out and go to ulta i'm trying to hurry up so yeah i don't want to be in here too long so let's hurry up and go grab this stuff and then i'm gonna show you guys what i get and i'm gonna show you guys as I put it in my bag. Really quick video intermission, you guys. This video is sponsored by Enview. And y'all, I have so many memories with Enview. I literally used to be addicted to this game and me and my sisters used to play it together. It literally is so addicting because you can create your character to look however. And now the Enview app is more like advanced. I literally created two characters that look exactly like me and two of my Instagram pictures. I'm gonna show you guys right here what my Enview characters look like. You guys are gonna be like, no way that you got it that close to your Instagram pictures. Yes, I did. I made a couple of different alterations, but it's really close. Like if you looked at the picture side by side, which you will right here, you guys are gonna be like, oh my God, that's literally the same thing. Yes, it's basically the same outfit, which was so cool. And they have so much stuff on there. There's like chat rooms in here so you can make friends online. And girl, when Prince is asleep or you know, I just have downtime, I literally play this game and it's so fun and there's some people in here who are so pretty i'm just like oh my gosh how did you get your character that freaking pretty and granted my envy character's body is honestly way better than mine that's neither here nor there but yeah you can literally change your clothes you can go in group chats there's a social media feed where you can like follow people make friends like their pictures like literally like how you would on instagram and it is just so fun to play when you have downtime like today it's it's raining I don't know if you guys can hear outside but it's like raining it's cozy I already got everything done that I needed to for the day so yeah this is what I'm doing oh she's cute but the even cooler part about this is we can literally play together yeah we can play together you can follow me i can follow you so make sure you guys download for free and follow me at jade amber nine i will have it right here for you guys so y'all can follow me and i can follow you and we can just have the best time on there and yeah i can't wait to see you guys on infu and we're gonna get right back into the video okay guys so i just came out of sephora and i'm gonna show you guys what i got i did not find the stuff that i went in there looking for but i did find the oh my god that was fucking scary i did find the amika bust your brass um intense hair mask the shampoo conditioner to this is so freaking good um i don't know why i didn't replace that instead I literally don't know why and then I also got the Brazilian crush 62 pistachio and salted caramel um, body spray and it literally smells so freaking good it's definitely a different scent than what I thought I guess I was thinking more like tropical but it is like a very vanilla y scent but it does smell super good so yeah I'm gonna keep this in my car I feel like there's no point in keeping this in the house so yeah I'm gonna put this in my makeup bag but that's all I got so far I have to go to Ulta and get the other stuff because Sephora literally did not have anything they were like wiped out of everything tiktok has been selling everything out y'all y'all already know i have a serious addiction to coffee so i'm in the starbucks line right now because i really want starbucks and when i get prince i'm gonna give him his cake pop but i'm buying ulta right now and then i'm gonna try to get most of my stuff for my makeup bag because my makeup always gets messed up in the car sometimes especially around my mouth like my foundation will just come off and like i need powder for this hold on Hi, could I get a um, venti iced brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso? Could I get that with um, one pump of white mocha and um, sweet cream cold foam, please? And then a birthday cake pop if you have it, and that'll be it. Okay, cool. It's going to be eleven eighty-five. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We love a good brown sugar shake and espresso. We love that. Y'all, I literally am so in love with this bodysuit right now. Like, it sucks me in. It makes me feel good. It's not see-through. It's stretchy. I will have it linked down below. This video is going to have to be days in my life because I got out of the house today way too late for everything that i was trying to get done i swear that driving in downtown raleigh and parking and having to do all that is literally the scariest shit ever it freaks 
me out so bad. I literally have to call someone every time I'm walking in downtown Raleigh because it's so weird. I'm just a very paranoid person. I cannot wait to get this coffee. It's gonna be so good. I will come back when my coffee is here. Okay, y'all. So I got my coffee. Why is this effing steering wheel so rude? It's literally always in the way. I need to get something that like holds it up here or something or over here. Not me literally getting sidetracked. Okay, so I'm gonna try my coffee. This is what she looks like. Oh my god, she looks so good. Okay, let's give her a little swirly swirl. That was straight cold foam, but it was still so good. I just realized there's a fucking human being in that car. That scared me. Not me thinking that I'm just like all alone in this fucking parking lot. Anyway, I want to take this into Ulta, but I genuinely don't trust myself. I'm surprised I even trust myself in this jumper. Why is coffee so good? Like, this is so freaking good. Okay, I need to hurry up and go in here and get the stuff for this bag. The only thing that I can't get in here is going to be the powder that I was looking for. I'm just going to have to order that online, but I can get my mascara, eyebrow. I can just put one of my powder puffs that have, like, a whole thing from Amazon. I could put that in my bag. My nail's fucking breaking off sadly hopefully they have the olaplex hair oil in here you guys please tell me why i just went in there and i literally spent 300 dollars. please tell me why yeah okay so we're gonna do a little haul not really a little haul but it was i don't know anyways <sighs> ulta why would you do this to me well we're just gonna get right into what i got i have got to figure out how to put you guys to where y'all can like see what the fuck i'm doing that's not gonna work why do i always go through this okay whatever we're just gonna have to do it right here the first thing i got was this nyx epic wear waterproof eyeliner because i knew i was gonna need an eyeliner soon because the one that i'm using is an nyc eyeliner and i know they probably don't even make that anymore because um one of my supporters veronica she sent it to me so my nail is really fucking bothering me i don't know if you guys can see but it's like hanging off anyways so i got that for that but i'm gonna keep it in my makeup bag for now i'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and then i also got the um la roche posay 60 body and face melt in milk sunscreen for my hands because whenever i'm driving i always forget like before i leave to put sunscreen on my hands and like the sun is right here so oh shit that's what i get for being nosy anyways this jacket is cute but it's not cold enough for that right now i really want to lower this so bad because it is getting on my nerves like it's literally in the way there's no way this is all the way to the freaking bottom can i go up that is a lot better okay so the next thing that I got was, where's the other one? I got two LA Pro Conceals. These are the exact ones that I have on my makeup vanity. It is in Cool Nude and Fairest. And this is when I'm like super pale, don't have no makeup. Um, and I need a really pale concealer. And then this one is like, if my makeup was to get messed up and I needed to like fix it or my eyeliner or something, I could just use this to fix it. So these are gonna go in there. The next thing I got was this um, NYX Brow Glue. I don't really know if this, Oh my gosh, that literally scared the shit out of me. I literally almost just fucking shit on myself. I thought that was a man running up behind me. Okay, anyways, I got this um, brow glue because I don't use brow glue, but maybe I should. I don't know, so I fucking got it. And this is for my vanity, not my makeup bag for my car. So I'm gonna leave this in here. Okay, y'all, and then this has me so messed up. This is the Ordinary Buffet Serum. Why was this $30? Like, what? I don't know how much I used to buy it for, but this is $30. And they redid the bottle. What is in here? Oh my gosh, what is co copper peptide? Holy shit, did they literally not want anyone to use this shit? Bro, uh-uh. I'm gonna have to, I was about to say, I'm gonna have to get this freaking open. It's blue! What the f Oh my gosh. Wait, y'all, we have to put this under discovery right now it used to be clear and it didn't used to be thirty dollars so what miracle working freaking oh my gosh what i'm so shook right now like what the heck okay wait 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 y'all we're under a disco a freaking hold on
Did I just buy the wrong thing? Okay, The Ordinary posted on October 11th. They said, we're changing the name of Buffet to the Multi-Peptide Plus HA Serum because peptides this powerful deserve to be on the label. But they changed it to Buffet Plus Copper Peptides. Why is it $30? It says that Buffet Serum is now called Multi-Peptide Plus HA Serum. So is this not that? What the fuck? Wait, hold on. I'm so confused. What the fuck did I just buy? Y'all, they changed the name. So what is this? I'm so fucking confused, y'all. It's on the... Oh, shit. They said that this is what they changed the name to. Multi-peptide plus HA serum. And... Okay, so let's look up Buffet. Okay, so Buffet is on here, too. What's the difference? It says, an advanced age-supporting serum with additional antioxidant support. What? And it targets crow's feet and signs of aging. It says, Buffet plus copper peptides 1% is a universal formula which utilizes multiple skin support technologies that target multiple signs of aging at once. The formula incorporates five well-studied peptide technologies, skin-friendly amino acid, and mul multiple hyaluronic acids for those looking for an all-in-one solution for skincare. Buffet plus copper peptides 1% helps to improve the appearance of fine lines and dynamic lines and support your skin's overall elasticity smoothness and firmness and because this advanced serum contains direct copper peptides it also targets signs of aging that are typically associated with oxidative stress resoluting and radiant healthier looking skin why was this so confusing like they i really don't even know what i just bought and i just spent hella money on it and the other one says that it has an array of technologies to improve skin smoothness and this is what i thought i was getting it used to be called buffet serum it was to improve skin smoothness and target multiple signs of aging at once by utilizing four well-studied peptide technologies skin-friendly amino acids and multiple hyaluronic acid complexes it helps significantly improve the appearance of crow's feet as well as improving the skin okay well yeah this was $30 and it's blue but it's supposed to be really fucking good for your skin so hopefully this works miracles um anyways the next thing that I got was the NYX brow pencil in chocolate this is what I use for my eyebrows I'm gonna go ahead and just pop that right in there girl and I also have another one that I'm gonna keep in here for my makeup vanity and then I got um NYX nude beige that is my favorite lip liner ever that's what I'm wearing today with the lip gloss on top it's kind of worn off a little bit but we're gonna throw that in there it's really hard for me to like switch up my makeup routine so I wanted to try this Juvia's Place lipstick like how pretty this is in the shade lady that is the cutest name ever we're gonna do a little swatchy swatch oh it's like an orange brown like a bronzer almost i wasn't really expecting that should i put it on we're just gonna put it on let me take it off of my hand really quick because that's gonna bother me let's do that okay that wiped right off my hand so it's not a lipstick that is going to we're about to put it on <gasps> oh my god it's fucking orange ew oh my god ew oh my god i'm so gross out this is does not look good on me at all this literally looks so bad oh my fucking god there's no way in hell it looks like I just ate the fucking tiger from cheetos it looks like I just ate his ass that's what it looks like oh my god this girl is next to me eating an apple oh my god i need to take notes any no effing way why did i think that was gonna be a nude okay y'all so i just put on my lip liner that i was wearing before that because the other one was a no for me but let's keep going i just ordered mexican food from for me and prince because i really don't feel like cooking tonight last night we had soup okay and then i got the mac fix plus spray which i don't really need for my um, makeup bag i'm i need this for my vanity so i got that and then i also got the essence volume stylist um, mascara this isn't the one that i was going for i was going for the lash princess one but they didn't have it so i'm just going to pop this in there i really hope this girl next to me is not recording because she keeps laughing on her phone i'm scared 
Oh my god. And then y'all, I have never used a tan remover and I'm just hoping that this makes my life and self tanning routine that much easier because when I tell y'all removing self tanner is probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. I'm being dramatic. But yeah, so I got the Loving Tan Tan Removing and Skin Polishing Glove and this is obviously not for my makeup bag, but yeah. And then I also got the Deluxe Tan Remover. It says it has gentle formulation, lift and dissolve, prime and smooth. And we're gonna see. I don't really know how this works, but. Oh my God, you have to let it sit for 10 minutes. What am I supposed to do naked? And then you guys, I got the Maybelline 30 hour foundation in the shade 128 to keep in my bag for if my foundation comes off. I don't know if the ear is supposed to be bent like this, but that's so cute. And then I got the L concealer brush for whenever I do put the foundation or concealer on. I need to get a beauty blender and put it in my bag, but I have some of those upstairs. Oh my God, y'all. And I found the freaking Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil, which is what I was looking for. This shit was 30 fucking dollars. Like this shit literally better restore my whole life, y'all. Cause what the heck? What does this smell like? This is the cutest little bottle ever. I guess you only use a little bit cause like the teeniest, tiniest, inches beansiest amount just came out after fucking four shakes it smells like olaplex okay period for that what does it say on the box so it says apply a small amount to damp or dry hair style as desired and this bonding oil reduces frizz and flyaways extends color and new renews vibrancy heat protection up to 450 degrees shortens drying time softens and detangles uv protection no residue color free vegan safe vegan and alcohol free so period we love that this is like a little magic in a bottle apparently just like this um i still have to get powder i need to put a beauty blender in here so this definitely isn't done but it's more than what i had before i'm gonna spray some more of that spray that i sprayed on my tiktok it honestly does smell good this gives me beach vibe but not even like abercrombie maybe i don't know it smells it smells good look how freaking cute this is and it's very like Dirty. That's what I got from Ulta and I'm gonna go get the Mexican food and then I'm gonna get prints and we're gonna go home and eat and then tomorrow I'll probably go get my toes done and I really need to brainstorm for my brand and stuff like that. I also need to go home and fold clothes and put my sheets and comforter on my bed. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go, oh my gosh, since this cake pop is starting to melt because the car is so hot, okay. Let me turn that down. But I just went and got the food. That's gonna be so freaking good. I can't wait to eat that. Yeah, I wish I could have taken a picture in this outfit, but it's not like I can't wear it again. And it's a pretty basic outfit, so I don't know. I'll take a picture another day. I'm gonna go get prints and then I'm gonna go home and I may or may not film myself eating. I don't know yet, so we'll see. It is the next day and I literally just got my toes done. I'm so annoyed because I cannot find my camera, which is so weird because I literally just had it yesterday. I feel like my face looks so weird. I don't know why, but I just got my toes done. I just got like a pink French tip. I made a TikTok. I'll go ahead and insert it right now. But yeah, I don't know what the hell I did with my camera. Like I thought it fell, but maybe it didn't. Let me look on the other side of my car. I'm so freaking confused. Where is my camera? Not me about to take this makeup bag. If I lost the camera, that means that I lost all that footage. Okay, I don't know. Anyways, y'all, I'm gonna go to Kaba because I've been seeing everybody go there and I'm like, I wanna be a part of it too. So I'm about to go to Kaba and I don't even know what they have there. Like, what is it? Like rice chicken bowl? Is it like an off brand Chipotle? I don't fucking know, but we're gonna go. We're gonna see what they have. We're gonna see if I like it. And yeah, I don't know why I'm acting like I got my nails done because I definitely didn't. This hand is really struggling. This hand is pretty okay. But I don't know why when I was getting my nails done, the lady was like asking me if I wanted wanted to change anything and I was like no and then she was like oh my god you're were like my easiest customer today and I was like really because like the whole time why did I think she hated me I always think that all the time I don't know why but yeah let's go to Kava and eat some food 
Wow, I wish I could hold a camera. Okay guys, so I feel included now. I just went to Kava and I did not really know what to get at all and they were like short staff, so I felt bad. Um, And I, it was kind of like stressing me out because I don't know. Like I know how it is whenever there's like people and there's no food and there's no help. I didn't get a receipt or anything, but this is what I got. I got chicken lettuce pickled onions cabbage the cabbage looked hella good the honey chicken and i got brown rice and i got the honey like vinaigrette and i also got the like dill yogurt stuff i'm about to try it i've literally been seeing this everywhere and everyone's bowls are just so bright and colorful but i think they did that on purpose because like everything in there has color oh yeah and i got the red hummus or tomato hummus or some shit and what else did i get i got some other stuff but i can't even remember what it was so we're gonna take my first bite I'm scared it's really good it kind of reminds me of like a taco salad or something my first bite was good apparently it's like mediterranean food or something normally I always get water everywhere I go I just got a little root beer oh my god not the paper straws the feeling of it reminds me of how like the straws are edible on cruises and stuff this is actually so good not the fork being made with plant starch what what the heck even is plant starch this bowl is really freaking good i'm honestly gonna give it i really want to give it a 10 out of 10 but i'm like dang am i gonna give it a 10 out of 10 it definitely is really freaking good y'all i really think this is a 10 out of 10. i really hope that i can find my camera because if not this is not even gonna go up oh my gosh literally everything in this bowl has so much flavor it's crazy the pickled onions in this are so good this is so freaking good don't let me find this on doordash that would not be good y'all there is something hurting my gums and i can't it felt like something was like lodged in there jeez i'd have to say y'all know how like you try like every something's being so hyped up and you try it and you're just like okay this was like why was it that hyped up this is hyped up for a reason for real this is seriously so good i may or may not add certain stuff to this video i don't know yet we'll see but i'll see you guys maybe in a second <laughs> i did end up finding my camera obviously because that's why i was able to get the other parts of the video that is going to be the end of this video make sure you guys click that subscribe button turn on those post notifications girl so you get notified every single time that i post i will see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much bye